Good morning, Fall City Middle School. It is Tuesday, November 24th, our last day before Thanksgiving break. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. So, last day before Thanksgiving break, our food drive is complete. And we've got a lot of animal kissing going on today because you guys brought in so much food. Um, so just so you know, before I get to all the announcements, we are going to be on an extended homeroom schedule. You guys still go to your classes in order. All that changes is that the lunches are shortened to 20 minutes, just like they would be on an early out. But you still go first period, second period, third period, then the fourth period. They're short. Then you go 5th, 6th, 7th, and then homeroom. But the difference is homeroom will start at 2.40 today and end at 3.20. Now, on the schedule for homeroom, you were supposed to go through your grades. You'll still do that. You'll turn in all your stuff. And then in the, we will go to the gym where we will socially distance. Since we have so many kids absent, we're actually under the 25% threshold for our gym. You guys will go in. Everybody has to wear a mask. Um, I'll get you seated. And then we will bring in the animals for all of our teachers to kiss. So that should be interesting. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. You really don't have to do much different. Just listen to the bells and go to your classes like normal. The bells are ringing at a different time, and that's it. So that's good to know. Okay, with all that said, pretty awesome. We'll get lots of pictures for the web page, maybe some videos. Mr. Huppert will do his thing, and uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, uh, let's do birthdays. Happy birthday. We have two birthdays, real birthdays today. Happy birthday, Kira Wilcox and Tiberius Karpinski, a.k.a. Ty Karpinski. Happy birthday, guys. Got your birthday right before Thanksgiving. That would be awesome. Thanksgiving's the best holiday ever. Football and eat and take a nap. It doesn't get much better than that. So Kira and Ty, you guys have awesome birthday time. All right. Lunch for today. You're having chicken taquitos, waffle fries, corn, pineapple, and a milk. Um, let's see. And my A-OK -okay of the day is a shout out to old Libby Frederick. Libby wanted to help Miss Darvo clean. The only problem was she wanted to help her clean instead of go to English class. Well, sorry, gotta go to English class. Love the sentiment, so I'm shooting an A-OK -okay out to you for that. Remember to keep your masks on, people. That's another thing. You know, we've got, what, over the next week, you guys will be away. But keep those masks on today. And uh, be safe over Thanksgiving. Try not to put yourself in a position where you'll get sick because we have lots of sick adults running around town. So um, be smart, be safe, and we'll see you back here on Monday. Now it is time for our words of wisdom. So here we go. When life seems really difficult, when your dad has lost his job or your mom has grounded you for two weeks and you've argued with a close friend, it can be hard to focus on what's good and right in the world, and it's a challenge to be grateful for anything. There's an old African proverb, if something that was going to chop off your head only knocked off your kneecap, you should be grateful. In other words, things could always be worse, and it's useful to stop and think about what's right and good in the world, like the roof over your head, the clothes on your back, and the privilege of getting an education. I want you to take a moment right now to think about three things you're grateful for. That is what Thanksgiving is all about. Have a grateful holiday, everyone. And make it a great day or not, the choice is always yours. And I'll tell you one thing I'm grateful for. It's Thanksgiving and we're all still here. And we're relatively healthy. And let's keep it that way and let's keep rocking on because in my old school, those kids haven't had school since March and they're just getting further and further behind. So we are so fortunate to live in Fall City, Nebraska at this time where we have a school that's open. So I hope you all have a wonderful break. I know I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to watch lots of football and eat too much. So I may have to have a wheelbarrow to get into the building next Monday. But that is what it is. Have a great day, guys, and I will see you next Monday.